Okay, hello guys. So this is the Redmi 4X, and the user forgot the mail account, and the bootloader is still locked. But instead, the user want to flash custom ROM. So in this video, I will show you how to bypass the UBL or bypass unlock bootloader using on the unofficial way. Okay, I will show you the process before and after. I'll show you the bootloader status in the fast boot mode, and then show you the process to unlock the bootloader and also flash custom ROM. Okay. So stay tuned and check it out. Okay, hello, assalamualaikum guys. We meet again with Ombob, and as I said in the introductions, uh, in this video we will try to bypass the bootloader. Okay, seeing the obvious way. Okay, first thing you need to know that you must open the case. Okay, I will not show how to open the case. There is a lot of video in YouTube how to open it because we want to do a test point. And then next, uh, you need to install several driver. Okay, I will provide also the driver and other stuff. And also a disclaimer. Okay, this is not for a newbie. If there is something wrong with your device, I will not uh, have any responsibility. Okay, so if you don't have any experience, try to ask your friend. Now let's switch the screen. We will uh, boot it into the fast boot mode. Okay. And now let's uh, boot it into the fast boot first. Before we continue, I just want to show you the serial number, uh, device name, and both other status. Okay, so you will get a better view. Okay, first fast boot device. Okay, this is our serial number for. 5 2 triple c blah 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 fast boot get far all will show you the device name santoni is the redmi 4x and fast boot om device info okay it will show us the bootloader status okay so the device is still locked okay and uh, maybe some of you guys will ask and now continue to the next step Okay, so now we are in the desktop. This is the step, and this is all the file that we did. It, okay, so you can see right here we're going to use the flash uh, 2022, and we also need the driver, the Qualcomm Kitty Loader, and of course the ADB Facebook driver. Okay, this one, and the MI8937. Unify custom ROM and the app vendor, okay. The direct and the app, uh, app vendor, okay. <clears throat> and next, uh, this is step, okay. The first one, make sure you are on the last me update, okay. So I've already flashed using the latest me, and next, unplug the power source, okay. So to the uh, test point it's better to unplug first okay for the yes uh one type the redmi 4x okay so you will need the pin set okay so basically test point is connecting the two dots on the pawn using a pin set or the stuff and then plug the usb cable okay let's try it and now we are in the download mode you can check from the device manager right here go to the port and you will see the Qual qualcomm kitty loader and android 8 on the com 42 in my computer okay now let's open the mi flash right here just give it permission don't forget to install the uh, qualcomm driver and the universal adb okay so the bypass well i put it in here let's copy the path and paste it in here and then select clean all just hit the ok message right here hit refresh and we will see the port right here okay now let's hit flash it just 
take several seconds and succeed okay as many as you one and the next step let's <coughs> unplug the hp cable and then press the power button again okay and next we want to boot it into the <coughs> custom recovery so we need to press the three button to boot it okay uh usually we just need two button volume up and power this time we need three button okay now let's try it and you can see right here now it's booted into the uh, recovery okay it's shown <laughs> uh itin logo uh, uh, but you can ignore it okay you just need to wait several seconds until it's shown the red wolf custom recovery okay nice and now we are in the custom recovery let's just swipe it uh I'm just going to go to the settings and change the brightness so you will get a better view okay and next step we need to replace the custom recovery so go to the install menu right here select storage micro sd because i put it into the micro sd find a folder where you have the file install image select the new custom recovery okay we are using the unify me 8937 select the file select the partition recovery and swipe it again okay, and then let's go back hit install zip right here and now let's install the appender version 4x antony okay check all the option and swipe it wait until it finish it usually takes about <coughs> uh about one minutes or two minutes if i'm not mistaken and now it, it's already done Okay, so from here, don't reboot system and don't power it off from here. Okay, so you have to turn it off manually. So let's unplug the power source. And plug it, plug it again and you need to boot it into the recovery the same way. Okay, using the three buttons like before. Volume up, volume down, and power button. Okay, let's try it. And here we go. Now we have successfully replaced the uh, red fox with the latest uh, therapy. Okay, just swipe it. I'm going to go to the settings, change the brightness. Uh, where is it? Okay, it's one. <clears throat> nice. Okay, and then after unmount system before installing, hit the home button. Goes to the install. Okay, from here. We want to flash the retrofit dynamic partition so i put it in the, the folder uh, this one the me 837 and select the retrofit dynamic partition and swipe it okay and then okay if there is error message just ignore it then hit the home button, select wipe, advance wipe, select topic data, metadata, and cast the four item, swipe it. <coughs> okay, just ignore the red message. And from here, let's install the custom ROM. Goes to the install, I want to use the line 8, 18, this is Android 11. Select the file, add more zip, B 
because the ROM doesn't include gaps, I want to also install gaps. Android 11, let's use the NIC gaps on ARM64. And the last one is the appender, okay? Not the appender rack, but the uh, app, this appender. Okay, select file, swipe it, wait until it finishes. It usually take about 10 minutes, okay? Uh, so I'll just skip this one. And now it's already finished. Okay, now hit the home button, select wipe and format data. Okay, and when it finish, we can put it into the our new ROM. Okay, just hit, hit reboot system, and let's wait if it will show the the line its logo. Okay, and remember different ROM need a different step. Okay, in the line eight, you usually doesn't include caps so we have to install manually but uh, if you have caps that already included uh, sorry but if you have from that already included caps you don't need to install gaps again okay okay nice so we can see right here now it's putting put it into the uh, line H okay let's wait until it put it And here we go, now we are in the home screen, you can see right here We're using the line 8 okay. And now let's put it again into the fast boot mode I just want to show you that this is still the same device okay. Usually some of you guys will ask <laughs> Okay, let's put it ADB reboot uh, Bootloader Okay, so I just want to show you the uh, this three uh, information. Okay, Facebook device serial number four five two triple C, same serial number. Facebook get for all Santoni let me four X. Facebook OM device info. and you can see our device is still locked in the facebook mode although we have custom recovery and also custom rom no problem because we just bypass the look the lock bootloader using modify uh, sorry using the modify file okay, or the bypass well Okay, that's all guys. I hope it helps you. And know that this is very important. If you change custom ROM or change kernel, you must flash the appender version 4 like before. After the process finish, you must flash the appender version 4. And the second one is if you change the custom recovery, you must flash the appender rack. Okay, don't forget and you must not uh power it off just unplug the power source that's all don't forget if you forget the step it will make your device break okay <laughs> yeah that's all uh all the file and step i'll provide in my blog you can check the link in the description box okay if you have any question feel free to ask if i have uh, time i will try to answer it okay that's all see you in the next video wassalamualaikum